guys, this is Joanna for The Verge, and I am here at CES 2012 with one of the most exciting products of the show. This is the OLPC XO tablet. It is the successor to the original OLPC laptop. And just like the original laptop, this is a rugged tablet. It's an 8-inch tablet. Going to take a look at the hardware now with some help from OLPC's CTO Ed McNerney. Sure. Um, we've got you know fairly standard port configuration, but with some options that are designed really for the, the audiences that we're trying to serve. Um, so we have a standard USB, full-size USB port for thumb drive, sneaker net's really important uh, where we go. We've got uh, headphone and uh, microphone jacks, has the same stereo input and output that we have on our laptops. The microphone jack is also uh, designed to be a DC sensor jack, so you can hook up thermometers or, or other kinds cool. of data collection tools. A USB on the go port, which you can use for connecting peripherals. It's a micro USB. It's a micro USB, so it's also available as a charging Okay, port. so you can charge this through that. You too. can charge it through a regular okay. five volt port. The problem is, you know, even though for, there's a lot of tablets that use that as their only charging option, it's really limited. It's great if you've got a, a wall ward adapter and a wall to plug it into. Right. We go places where there are no walls. So we have a dedicated charging port as right. well that, like our laptops, is designed to take anything from 10 to 25 volts. You can throw any kind of so can you show me some power options? It. We have a lot of power options here. You have a, um, we, we, you we, have a hand crank? That's we've always the one got I've a crank. For. We've always got a crank. We've had this crank forever. Yep. Um, everybody remembers our hand cranks. The problem with the hand crank actually has not been the hand crank, but it's been the laptop because the laptop takes too much power. Okay. So by now going to an ARM processor can and I a crank tablet this? form factor, sure you can. You're going to hold it's it? It's good for it. I'll hold it like that. All right, that. so how am I going to know it's going to start? You're just going to keep going a little faster. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You can, do it. you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. My arm okay, hurts. Now, okay, so now there's a little light on inside here that's hard to see. Oh, there. I see it. Okay. It's, it's orange. And, and it, yes, and that means it's charging. It means oh my you are God. charging the battery. And so how many cranks for charging? Well, it's about, we've finally gotten up to a, where we think we can get about a 10 to 1 ratio. Um, so you do this for six minutes and you get an hour of usage. It's not really a primary power source, but it's a good way of demonstrating that any kind of irregular, erratic, dirty, messy power that you can generate uh, is really suitable for the, uh, for the tablet. All right, um, and so you've also got a different lid. We've also got a cover that works like a solar panel, because okay. it is a solar panel. It's a solar panel with a thin pack battery behind it. So while you're using the tablet, you can set this out in the sun. And then this is a four watt solar panel. So if you've got two watts or less on the tablet, it means that this can get a two to one ratio. You leave this outside for an hour and you can get two hours of run time here. Okay. Once you get this all charged up, you can snap it on the back of the, of the tablet. That one's not working right now. Can I see uh, that one real quick? Sure. So uh, this one's not working right now, but when you have it, it will have these little... It has a couple little connectors because these screws here so this is just are the screws that you use to take the tablet apart because, like our laptops, it's designed to be easy right. to disassemble and repair. But there are also electrical connections. So you can put this into a cover and then make electrical connections here and here and, and actually run off the battery That's that great. you have That's right really there awesome. as well. Okay, so... 8-inch screen, you're going to have an option for a LCD, I mean for a Pixel Chi right. outdoor readable. This is a regular LCD right now, right. 1024 by 600 resolution. 768, so 4 to 3 ratio. Okay, great. So let's talk a little bit about the software. I know you're, you'd are you like to demo it because it's a little bit early. Um, well, what we do, you know, again, we give people a lot of options on our software. Um, so, you know, you know, what we're showing here is the Linux-based software that we've used on our existing laptops. So this is called Sugar. The desktop is, the called, desktop sugar. is called Sugar. People could use a GNOME right. desktop or can use a, a regular environment as well, but it gives people the choice to use a lot of the educational activities that we've used in the past, like the measure activity for collecting data. Um, you might want to uh, look at, uh, we have a, a couple of what we call Wikipedia, Wikipedia slices. So these are a subset of Wikipedia in English and in Spanish. Um, and these provide you with complete offline functionality, so you have a substantial reference library on your own right here. So you can look at an article, you know, any of these articles, learn about stars. So this is saved to the internal economy. storage. It's on the internal How storage. How much storage there's, there? There's four gigabytes of internal storage, um, and uh, this all takes so up about one like gigabyte, this. and so you have an option to add your own data, add your own books, or or whatever. So I'm noticing with the software, it's sort of optimized for desktop use right now. Are you guys doing some things to make it more finger friendly? Because like when we I are. go like this, we are. You can you know you can do things like uh, 
to, to take these applications. Some of these applications are existing unmodified ones. Okay. One of the things we're trying to do is say you can, all, you can run the stuff you already have and you can do new ac applications that take advantage of the tablet. Okay, and this is the browser. We, we don't do have, have a, any Wi-Fi right now. We but. do have a browser built in just like we do with our laptop, so you have, you have complete access and the same networking technologies that we have. So this is the wiki. All along. Cool. Well, that is a really nice first look. Thank you so much. Well, thanks. Thank you.